Today we look at the VeChain Thor blockchain and why the VeChain coin is still so undervalued. Because the VeChain product is definitely one of the more practical altcoins that has immediate use in the real world, and not only that, but because it's specifically designed for use in the supply chain industry, it automatically has access to a truly massive market. So why then is VeChain not already trading at $50 or even just $10? Well, there are a couple of reasons for this, so let me know in the comment section what do you think is holding back the value of VeChain? Now, let's dive right in. The current VeChain projects. To understand why VeChain is not exploding onto the crypto scene, we must look at the actual projects and dApps that are making up the current ecosystem. Now, if you want to know more about the VeChain coin and how VTHO energy works, then check out the What is VeChain video linked up here. So when VeChain announced the collaboration with BMW, we all got very excited because this was indeed a very big step and it opened up the door to more collaborations with multinationals and mass adoption of the VeChain token. Since then, VeChain has indeed entered into multiple large-scale international collaborations, ranging from one of the biggest accounting firms in the world, PricewaterhouseCoopers, to one of the biggest luxury brand holdings, LVMH, and another 25 more major partners. However, compared to other altcoins, VeChain is still seriously undervalued, especially when you consider how many major companies are actively using the VeChain Thor blockchain. Now, there are three main reasons for this. Number one, the adoption of VeChain is mainly happening at the back-end and enterprise level of companies, basically the non-sexy part of doing business. Take H&M for instance, they are massively popular on the millennials and Gen Zs and are using VeChain to ensure the organic manufacturing process. This allows them to verify the specific resources that truly come from sustainable organic suppliers, which is also very popular amongst millennials and Gen Zs. But most people shopping at H&M have never heard of VeChain, they don't see VeChain and they don't use VeChain. VeChain simply doesn't exist in their world and they are more likely to buy Bitcoin because it's popular and sexy while they're actually getting much more utility from VeChain without even knowing it. Number two, most of the partnerships are still small scale even though the companies involved are massive. So take DNV for instance, which is one of the world's largest certification companies and very well respected in the industry. This is an excellent partner to launch a worldwide blockchain project with and so they have. DNV has developed the My Story dApp which is getting implemented by a growing number of international companies. Next to this, DMV is working on more dApps on the VeChain Thor blockchain that will be used in the medical field and is also working on specialized dApps for governments. But even though DMV is a huge billion dollar company, most of these projects are still very small scaled compared to their main business. And VeChain is rarely mentioned. Most end users and even some companies at the enterprise level won't even know they are using the VeChain Thor blockchain which really prevents VeChain from getting global recognition. And even when companies are more vocal about their use of the VeChain technology, the implementation tends to remain small scale and end users see or hear very little about it. If you go back to the BMW partnership for instance, you'll see BMW clearly boasting on their side of how they are incorporating blockchain technology into their business, which is obviously aimed at investors to show that they are changing with the times and they are at the forefront of new technology. But when you scroll down past all of the marketing, you will find their most important sentence which states It is not yet possible to say whether and when the applications of blockchain automotive solutions described above will be implemented. So at the same time they are saying how they will change the car industry, they are also saying yeah but we might never use them. This brings us to the third and final reason why VeChain is still undervalued and that is insufficient public adoption. Before we continue, please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. No matter how frustrating it might be, but crypto valuation is still mainly driven by public perception. If the general public jumps on board or finds it interesting, the coin will increase in value and companies will start adopting it to capitalize on the popularity. We saw this with Bitcoin and with NFTs. Whenever these enter the news cycle for a prolonged time, all of a sudden random companies start developing products or start accepting Bitcoin as payment, even though they could have done so years ago. With an altcoin like VeChain, where there's an actual utility in using it, this effect could be far larger if it gets the initial public boost. The current dApps are focusing too much on the back end of systems and this keeps VeChain out of the public eye. VeChain needs more public attention so that more people will see the benefits that the blockchain has to offer. So to summarize, VeChain is a great project with huge potential, but if it fails to get the recognition it deserves amongst the general public, there is a large risk that another altcoin will take its place and become the standard in supply chain technology. This was Why is VeChain still so cheap? Please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.